very productive and very very fruitful there is a lot of examples that you can actually see especially in the entertainment industry we can use davido as an example when his uncle wanted to go into power he brought his full team and they gave their massive support and yes the victory was assured now alex Oti being a family friend to that same governor and part of them is now the new governor of Abia State, which we all know. Yesterday, I did a video here where he has already started allocating some state roads and federal roads around the state of Abia State. And today, earlier today, we are getting wonder another beautiful news that he has commissioned 16 new active youth in the state as commissioner. And yes, in his statement, which I am going to read to you, he gave them a very wonderful congratulatory message all you all the 16 new elected chairmen are all youth that is the beautiful part of it and i'm i'm working with people who have their conscience at heart you are really assured that they are going to deliver now on his official twitter handle this is what he wrote to congratulate the new people congratulations to our new sworn in commissioners your wealth of experience and commitment to excellence will be pivotal in this mission. In this world, you will face scrutiny and challenges, but remember, you are here to serve the entire state, not individual interests or clan. Focus on job creation, poverty alleviation, and improving living condition. Develop critical infrastructures like quality roads, effective drainage system, and robust energy network we do not expect miracles overnight but a daily commitment to our promises is key as you serve remember our vision and abia where opportunity abound and the welfare of all it all is prioritized welcome on board and thank you for accepting to serve this is coming from uh governor alex oti and yes in another source which i am going to be sharing with you guys here uh i want to read the full official statement which during the inauguration of this commissioner that he gave a call to serve protocol let me begin by congratulating the newly sworn in commissioner for scaling through the state house of assembly screening exercise and most importantly for being found worthy to serve as key partners in our collective mission to build a new abia i am glad to have answered the clarion call to serve your state and bring home wealth of experience and unique skill set as as we work to rebuild abia from the ruin of the past i am so optimistic that you will deliver on your various assignments and justify the huge expectation of the abia public the abia public who would be watching our every watching your every move to see how your decision align with our vision as captured in our campaign manifesto and promises to our people you will be the most watched and scrutinized commissioner in the recent history of the state in the light of what you have achieved in your various calling before now I expect you to bring in those hallmarks of excellence, commitment to the greater good and sense of duty in your new assignment. I acknowledge that things may be a little different as you begin your new roles and you may be encountering some unpleasant realities as you go about your tasks. However, you must stay the course, refusing to be distracted or give in to cynicism or Nayas, naysayers, and understand that in the end you will be judged by the courage you brought to bear in doing what is right and not by the unfair criticism of others. So I invite you to brace up for what lies ahead is not going to be entirely smooth, but you can be assured that you will always have a full have my full support and the prayers of well-meaning abians who have long prayed to have a team of dedicated men and women prepared to make the light sacrifice the right sacrifice for the future of our great state building a new abia that works for all is the found, founding mission 
of our government. Our target is to expand the frontiers of opportunity so that our people can live their dream by leveraging the promises of the 21st century government. 21st century environment, sorry. In live in dignity and work to hand a more functional society to those coming after us. As you begin your work as commissioners, you must, while not forgetting the ex exigency of today, keep an eye on the future. However, we do prepare our children to take advantage of the opportunities that are opening up within the wider global community. How do we insulate our pregnant mothers and our, our newborns from tragedy that can be prevented with more meticulous planning and honest use of our resources? Individually, we must be prepared to, to ask critical questions on what impacts we seek to make in our roles as senior government appointees. Thankfully, you are already aware that you have not been appointed to represent the interests of individual or clan. You must therefore spend your waking hours thinking about the entire state as a single constituency made up of men and women who yearn for a better opportunity to advance themselves economically and socially. Do not betray the trust of our people who have remained patient and loyal to our cause by towing the same path that brought Abia to the sorry state we met. The privilege of our appointment must never be seen as an opportunity for self-enrichment or advancement on wholesome interests. There would be zero tolerance for any of this. We are here to work for the whole state. Anyone who is entertained by any doubt about that may have found himself in the wrong room. The new idea we are currently laying its foundation shall be one where the interests of the whole state supersede the selfishness of any individual or entity. We have our work cut out for us and I am already aware you have some ideas of what is expected of you in your new role. In your new roles, our state is not in a good place on several important frontiers and our people are in a hurry to start seeing changes, especially in the relate to things that matters most to them. Job creation, poverty elevation, measurably improvement in the living condition of average Abian shall be the centerpiece of our policy and we must focus on the essential in order to begin demonstrate our people that are indeed the team that would get it right. The development of critical infrastructures such as quality road, effective drainages system, robust energy distribution network to power our home and industry are also key responsibilities and assignments that shall not be taken lightly under the new administration and developing an effective framework to achieve this must move at a faster pace now. The responsibility are huge. You can neither afford to delay nor fail. Resources are limited, I must admit, but you must be prepared to make the most of whatever is available to you to drive the outcome that we seek. Excuses shall not be tolerated and must be willing at all times to demonstrate that you deserve to remain in this great team. Psychophancy, as I have repeated, severally shall not place in my administration. You shall be judged strictly on the basis of what you are bringing to the table. How are you contributing to improving the material condition of our people? I do not expect you to achieve everything in one day, but there must be a daily commitment to fulfilling the promises that God us elected. Again, it shall not be easy. You will be misrepresented. Attempts will be made to sabotage your best efforts, and there will be there will be that tiny 
tiny but powerful minority who would prepare to do everything to see that you fail. Your job, therefore, is to see that you don't fail. It is my prayer that you shall never receive the guidance. It is my prayer that you shall receive the guidance, wisdom, courage you need to do what is right at all times. Never relent and do not forget that Adians and Nigerian in general are looking up to us. We must never disappoint them. Thank you for accepting to serve and once again, congratulations. Reading this entire piece is like, for me, it's like a team of youth coming together to really accept that our state has suffered a lot and it is high time we take it back and ensure that this is really working, things is really working right. I know some of you might not be that patient enough to read this whole, um, follow me all through to read this whole uh, full statement at the inauguration or the commissioning of this new 16 commissioners, which majority of them are actually youth. That is the most and the beautiful part of this whole new government Abia State is trying to set up. Now, here we discuss politics from all angles and we are not limited to a particular set of people. You know, I try as much as possible to give you a collective information from every other angle when it comes to political affairs here, especially when it comes to the obedience and the Labour Party in particular order. Now, somebody said in the comment section that anything will be Peter will be touch always turn gold and it always bring out a beautiful light. That is what Alex OT is setting part, setting the path now. This is to ensure and this is to let us know that we are going to get our mandate back from the courts and a new Nigeria, not just Abia, is possible. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Drop a comment in the comment section. See you guys on our next video.